Hey everybody, this is Doug. In this video, I want to show you how to apply segments to your analysis workspace project. So we ought to start off by saying, what is a segment? And a segment is really a filter for your data. So as we look at our data here, for example, we have the number of visits and visitors for this time period of last month, but it's everybody, it's all the visitors, it's all the visits, and you may want to limit that depending on what analysis you're doing. And that's where segments come into play. Now there are some out of the box segments and you'll be able to find those right down here on the left as you find your segments and that's great and we're gonna work with those in this video. You will also be able to create your own segments and build whatever segments you need and want but that's out of the scope for this video so I will point you at experienceleague.adobe.com and to look there for all the different videos regarding segments and how to build them and all the tips and tricks for segments. But let's talk about some of the really powerful basic things that you can do right out of the box with segments. Now in our video about panels, we discovered that we can drop a segment right up here at the top of each panel and that it'll affect all the different tables and visualizations on that panel. So we can just grab, for example, new visitors and drop it in there. Now watch the numbers as I do this. And you see that they're lower because it has limited these numbers to just new visitors. Now, if you want to know how that's defined, you can simply click on this information bubble and it'll show you that this is visit number one. So just the very first visit for each person. And then it'll give you some numbers here as well. And that will be applied to all the different tables and visualizations on this panel. You can also remove a segment simply by deleting it. I'll do that. And now, it will jump back up to my larger numbers. And again, now it's the entire data set. Now that's the simplest part of adding a segment, but I want to show you a couple other really cool things that you can do. Now, when we dropped new visitors in there, that meant that it was, you know, going to change all of our data. And that means we probably want to keep looking at our data that way. And we're not going to put it in and delete it and put it in and delete it and those kinds of things. But what you can do, and I'm going to go ahead and show all my segments and I'm going to drop down to visits, visits from phones and from tablets, etc. So I can actually select visits from tablets. I can command click or control click on visits from phones. And then once again, visits from mobile devices. So you can see here, you can shift click or control or command click in order to multi-select. And then as I drag those over, if I hold down the shift key, and it'll give me that little hint there, if I press the shift to create a drop down, so I'm gonna do that. And now you can see that not only did it apply the segment, but it put it in a drop down. So now I have visits from tablets, visits from phones, and visits from mobile devices in this drop down which is very powerful. And I think you're going to do this a lot because in some cases you're going to want to say, no, no filter. In some cases you're going to say, what are the numbers with this one? Or what are the numbers with this one or this one? So you can see here from tablets, it's about 6,600 from phones. If I apply that, it's 42,000. And it just so happens that mobile devices is kind of the sum of those. So that's up at like 49,000. And if I don't want to apply any of them, then of course I can also select no filter. So in any case, that is a great way for you to be able to kind of go back and forth and say, well, let me check this, let me check that. Or you have multiple things like this that you want to keep an eye on. And again, if you ever want to know what those are defined as, you can click on that info bubble and that'll bring up a definition in this case a visit where a mobile device exists. So it knows that it's coming from a mobile device. Okay, one more cool thing I wanna show you. So I will come out of that and come back up here to where I can see my dimensions. And I can even, you know, deselect those three if I want to that were already selected. And I can use these dimensions and the dimension values as segments. So for example, if I click on this arrow here for day of week, it'll show me the values in that dimension. And now I can even say, well, I want to know about Fridays and I can drop that over here in a segment drop zone. And I can even press shift to create a drop down for it, which I'll do. And now it will combine these segments and it'll give me visits from mobile devices on Fridays. So that's actually a really quick way to even combine segments is to be able to just add them both to there. And Fridays you can see, because if I drop down here, remember this 
time-based table. I only have numbers on Fridays. <laughs> so that kind of proves that that's working. Now, if I didn't really want to filter all of my data on this panel by that, I can go back up to the top and I can get rid of that. I'll just hit this drop down and delete that. And it'll jump my numbers back up, but I can scroll down to any table, for example. I'm going to drag that same Friday over here and just put it right underneath Unique Visitors. And now it will filter just that column by this segment. And again, we can see that we just have these Unique Visitors on the Fridays. But you can put that on any table, obviously, and on any column like that to just apply that segment to a limited amount of data. Anyway, I hope this has helped to give you a few ideas of the great things you can do with segments. Again, go to experienceleague.adobe.com in order to see some more great videos about segments. Good luck.